It has been a massive undertaking here at the Bell Pumping Station since Sunday. Crews from the Barbados Water Authority have been working 24 hours to get the situation here sorted. The guys have been working um, non-stop every day since Sunday on the system, but over the last 24 hours, um, we had some addi additional difficulties. Last night when we had the two pumps that we raised initially back on their beds, their supports, um, we, and we tried to start them up. <laughs> uh, they didn't start immediately. Um, so we had to do some inspections then on those pumps. Um, when we left at um, around midnight or, or close to midnight, we had all of them running um, again. We had, um, the station was producing about 10 million gallons per day. Um, but I understand this morning that one of those pumps, those same pumps that we put that back down last night, um, stopped during the early hours of the morning. Um, so we have to go back now and see exactly what is the issue with that pump. It could be a number of things. Um, as you know, when we were doing the work and we had them in the air, um, the pumps were knocking around, um, cables were being jolted around. So it could be cable or it could be a pump itself. Um, so we are going to be um, doing the inspection now to see exactly what um, has caused the issue with that pump. From Sunday, we were running at 7 million gallons per day. We stopped yesterday for the first time when we were putting back down the pumps on the refurbished platform. And our intention was to start back up at, at least 10 million gallons per day. And we were able to do that last night. The intention was to run that um, overnight to put at least five or six million gallons into all of the distribution systems and the reservoirs so that when we have to do any shutting today to deal with the, the additional structure um, at least those customers would, would, um, would have water in some of the areas. There are some customers still at the elevated areas like in Britain's, Britain's Hill um, we have um, Amity Lodge and all parts of Rendezvous on that south coast and elevated buildings that don't have tanks. Those are the ones that are um, experiencing, experiencing difficulty. Um, but all those buildings or all those um, residents that have um, water storage tanks, um, if your tanks are going low, you just give our um, customer service uh, a ring. And once they are familiar, once they have the information on your location um, and, and a contact person, we definitely will get to you. The tankers will ensure that they get to you to refill your tanks and keep you topped up. We're doing, we're trying to do that with all of the, the, um, the business communities and those, those commercial entities, especially that have, that have tanks. Any residents as well that have tanks within the areas we're also trying to deal with as well. Now that you have a better idea of what the situation requires as far as the fix goes here at the Bell Pumping Station, mm -hmm. what is the schedule now? How long before our residents in those affected communities can have back their regular supply coming into their homes. Okay, um, initially we were scheduling to finish this um, work here um, by today. Um, we believe that we will need another day um, to get um, the work completed entirely. As I indicated, there were some things that we did anticipate in terms of the, the, the pump that we replaced failing. Um, and then we had another one go down as well. Um, but unless we have anything else like that, we anticipate that by the end of work day Thursday, uh, Thursday night, we should, we should have this completed. A big thank you to Charles and his team for continuing the work around the clock here at the Bell Pumping Station. We will keep you informed right here on Ward Wednesdays. Of course, those tankers will continue to serve the community as the need arises, but there may be a bit of a lag time because of the widespread demand. We thank you for your understanding during this time. And thank you for watching another edition of Water Wednesdays. To view this or a previous episode again, please visit our website, www.barbadoswaterauthority.com. You can go to our Facebook or Instagram pages. We have updates there regularly. You can check us out there or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You know you can find us there.